Uh, hi everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have Ravindra with us. He is a CS graduate uh, from a college in Vishakhapatnam. He recently got placed in Mount Blue as a software engineer. Today we are going to be discussing about his journey and how did he land this role. So uh, welcome Ravindra. Hi. Uh, so congratulations on cracking this uh, job. Uh, cool. So we will be talking about your experience. Uh, so can you just start with your education background a little bit? Yeah, hi everyone. I did my graduation in computer engineering in 2022 from Vishak Patnam. Uh, I don't know about coding that much in my during my BTEC. I just know the basics of Python and HTML. That's it. Okay, so uh, even though you had computer science in your graduation, you didn't really start with coding at that time. Yes. Okay, so you started with your coding journey with AccioJob only. So can you tell us a little bit like how did you get to know about AccioJob? Who introduced you to AccioJob? After my graduation, uh, I get to know about Akio job through a friend, uh, through a friend, and he suggested that uh, one of his one of my friend is learning in Akio job, so I contacted contacted him and asked asked him about his experience and how he is learning and the curriculum and uh, how the placements are going, and he uh, he tell about his experience. So uh, later I also did my own research through uh, online. And I found it is quite affordable and useful, so I joined Akajo. Okay, cool. So Ravindra, uh, I'm you, when you started learning here, I'm sure uh, you would have faced a lot of problems while starting. And uh, I think you got placed in just five months, right? So can you just share like few instances or maybe few things that help you a lot while preparing for uh, jobs? And like what? What was the best part of Accio job, and what all things that helped you the most? Was it the gym section, or was it uh, the teachers? Were you someone who used to attend live classes, or like was it uh, very spontaneous? Uh, I I always uh, join only live classes. I hate watching both like recorded videos, so I only join live recordings. I mean live lectures. Uh, the main thing is. Uh, Everyone has to create one peer group. It will help a lot uh, while learning. Do everyone can learn alone, but it's not that consist consistent. So I highly recommend everyone to create their own peer group, and it will it will make uh, learning easier rather than learning alone. So and uh, and I like the gym section. I highly like the live dot session, not live dot session, the chat session, chat feature in Yakuza. And I always want right. I always use it. I don't want. I hate the future light out session. Maybe I have my own reasons, like waiting and waiting long time there. So I always like like to use chat option. Okay. And when it comes to tips, I always recommend try to explore as many things as possible, rather than sticking to one approach. Okay, yes. so basically, what helped you getting placed so early in Accio Job would be that there were a lot of uh, questions in gym that you used to try on your own, right? And you basically had a peer of uh, group, basically friends with whom you yes. practice a lot of questions. And apart from that, a doubt section that we have, right? Chris, you used yes. to ask a lot of uh, doubts there, and they got resolved. Yes. Yeah. Tell I me. always want like to explore more things or uh, more things. Like even though we are learning ARS, I wanted to explore things. I always wanted to move ahead. Uh, everyone knows. Okay, got it. So from what I can uh, you know make out from this conversation is that you were very much proactive from your own end, right? Yes. Uh, you always used to try out topics on your own, and uh, that was something which really helped you in getting placed. So early. got it. Cool, Ravindra. So next question that I wanted to ask about uh, would be. Uh, you know uh, your interview preparation for Mount Blue only. So can you just tell us or maybe walk us through uh, your whole experience and what all helped you in uh, getting placed? Basically, how was the whole process like? I mean, from the beginning, if you can share. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I got mail from Mount Blue around Sunday. Okay. Uh, I only got two days. Like uh, today, I got the mail from Mount Blue, and day after tomorrow, I have that interview. So I have very less time. I don't. I I don't know what to do. Uh, I uh, then later I realize I have to work. So 
I started learning only I um, started learning arrays and strings focus on these two topics mainly I I just uh, kept an entire day for these two and started trying to do as many problems as possible and try to find more approaches rather than solving same core problem again and again try to find more approaches uh it i allocated one entire day and after due uh, uh on the interview day itself i started i mean i started uh, i don't have in much time so i just went to the aq job and started reading the question, reading the coding approaches like you understand the coding approaches just reading i mean watching how this intuition behind to solve any every question mm-hmm. so i have done all these intuitions okay. i i cracked it in my first open yeah. okay so basically um, you did not have much time to prepare for it you yeah. just did everything you could on your own and uh, gave your best shot okay so how many interview rounds were there for this company two rounds one is technical round and one is hr okay so in the technical round were they asking you like high level dsa question or were they medium or were they beginner level uh they are basically medium level medium okay. one is medium to easy level and one is to medium to hard level okay got it so once you saw those questions were you like instantly uh, able to solve them or you were able to do it with the help of you know hints they were giving you no. how was no and uh, the first question is it is medium to medium medium easy to medium level even though it is easy, medium level uh, it takes me about almost 45 minutes to do that because i saw that type of questions but it is different from what i have seen i okay. only just got one approach and i started trying out figuring out i started myself debugging and everything even though i am getting errors uh, i haven't asked him about any hints uh it takes a lot of time for me to solve one question and and finally i solved it and he has i told him my approach yeah okay. we need hash map kind of things to solve those questions okay yes. what it cool ravi so uh coming back to uh so once you were able to clear the technical round then there was the final round which was the hr round right yeah. so i'm sure uh, can you just tell us like few questions that they asked like related to maybe Uh, you know your background what kind of questions do they ask in the hr it is a recorded hr session basically so the questions will be displayed we have to tell them like, the base, like these are the basic questions how you get to know about mount blue and uh, how 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 you can check solve some kind of problems you will face in your life and mm-hmm. tell me about your family background Mm-hmm. and uh, tell me about your skills and why do you wanted to choose development these kind of questions okay so were you able to answer them like uh, fluently or was there some issues that you were facing or uh, just maybe you can tell us like how much of a role soft skills play while clearing these rounds and do you think like at your job somewhere played a role in uh, making you a better communicator yeah sure aq job will play a role in soft skills definitely they will conduct a every month soft skills session it will help you quite a lot because okay. uh, if you join the sessions you can understand how to phrase a sentence like where to start and where to end this is the key points in while uh, in communication mm-hmm. yeah okay so soft skills does help yes correct okay Cool, uh, Ravinder. So uh, that will be about the interview that you had. Okay, so few more things that you would want to share with juniors, you know, who are just starting out in coding journey. Can you maybe share few tips with them? And uh, obviously, whenever you are starting, uh, there will always be that inertia that you will, uh, you know, face at the beginning. There will be a lot of times when you will not be able to solve questions. So can you like share few strategies and tips to uh, young people out there who would want to start their coding journey now? Yes. First of all, I already told you uh, they have to create one peer group. It is main thing, mm-hmm. and try all. Even though you face any trouble, just take uh, take a gap on the say and the day, and and reset for the next day. Just don't do stuck there and keep. Don't solve the same question uh, if you stuck there. Just leave that question and try more questions. It is a common thing for everyone who is learning coding. Just mm-hmm. don't try to stay there. just keep moving okay and try to learn more things and try to find different different 
लर्निंग पॉजिटिव्स ट्रैवल एंड स्टिकिंग टू वर्क ठीक है कूल रविंद्र थैंक यू फॉर योर इनपुट एंड जस्ट वन लास्ट क्वेश्चन दैट बिकॉज़ अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल थिंक दिस वे दैट इज आई एम ब्रिंगिंग दिस अप यू हैव डन योर ग्रेजुएशन फ्रॉम अ टियर 3 कॉलेज इन विशाखापट्टनम राइट एंड समटाइम्स पीपल बिलीव दैट देयर इज नो वे आउट फॉर टियर 3 कॉलेजेस एंड you can't really start with much and not many placement happen and not many great placements happen in their colleges so uh, can you maybe like uh, like share uh, how how big of a role does it even play uh, in your whole uh, career journey to be from a tier 3 background or maybe uh, you know to be from a top college does it make any difference or do you think people can just start learning and it does not matter which college they come from i think the core of all is doesn't care i mean college doesn't play any role by uh, in getting a job yeah, we, we all need, all we need is a skill and mm-hmm. we have to showcase the skill it is one of the thing even though you have skill you have to showcase the skill that's one of the key thing they can't mm-hmm. teach these things in college they have to learn in outset i college doesn't play any role while this journey okay Cool, Ravinder. So uh, we we'll just end this with uh, one last question. Uh, you have gotten placed in just five months uh, with us, right? But I'm sure you must be uh, still learning DSA. So any future plans that you would like to share with us? Like, will you be continuing studying with Accio Job, or you'll be picking up few more other things as well? Yeah, I will continue learning from learning DSA, but I will take a small break and I will choose development uh, when once I join in company. After that, and I will, and again, I will resume my DS. Started learning DS after three or four months, maybe. Okay. When is your joining? It's twenty first August. Okay. Cool, Ravindra. Thank you, and all the best for your uh, upcoming job ahead. And thank you for sharing your journey with us. Uh, we hope the students that are watching this uh, could find inspiration from you and can uh, you know start their coding journey uh, soon. and uh, yeah thank you so much and uh, if you guys want to see more such content want to see more uh, inspiring stories from academic students you can just stay tuned with us we will keep bringing you more thank you for your time